Hey there, Rob Edenbo here. Uh, welcome back to the Songwriter's Journal. I am a singer-songwriter. I am a country folk singer, and um, I like to call myself a dragon bard. I do like to write songs about uh, fantasy and mythology. Um, this is a place where I share my musical journey and uh, writing and uh, how I'm coming along from the guy who performed at home by himself in his basement, living room, um, to getting out into the public a little bit and doing some open mics or performing um, a local no nursing home, um, to uh, actually getting some of my own gigs and recording my own music and um, uh, preparing to release that music out to the public. So, um, Please hit uh, like and subscribe, and um, uh, hang on for the journey here. It should be fun. Um, move on to a couple of uh, updates here. Um, so the album is finally recorded. Um, it's uh, eleven songs, and um, it's all stuff. It's all original stuff. I have registered with a distributor. I chose CD Baby. I always knew I would. Um, I've researched them in particular more than any of the other ones. I uh, got to liking them because there was a public podcast, uh, which has gone through a couple of uh, new iterations here and, and reconfigurations. But I'm still listening to it on a regular basis, and um, <clears throat> I've learned a lot. Uh, at least I think I have. Um, from it and um, moving forward uh, that's that's the goals that I want I'm also talking to some of the local uh, folks that I respect they uh, they're using it and really uh, enjoy it and uh, the fellow that actually uh, produced my album also recommended it so it does come highly recommended by um, you know folks that I respect um, I'm using a company also called Vistaprint. My brother had turned me on to them. Um, I did my original business cards with them. I'm going to do new business cards. The, the uh, ones that I have now I'm not happy with for a couple reasons. Um, my name's big enough on there, but the phone number, the contact information is too small. I'd like to see that bigger. I'd, I'd like to see things stand out. It, every, it's, it's too dark. I wanted the background to be black on this original card. But the uh, the gold lettering that's on it it uh, it's too muddy, um, so I do want to make it clear, stand out, be easier to find the contact information. Um, another thing is the the uh, only website I have on there was my personal. Uh, sorry, there's no website on there. This is my personal email. Since then, I have uh, started a website, which I did last year sometime. I don't know over the summer or last spring maybe. Uh, it's been over a year since I've had that website. Um, it's been a while since I've updated it. I haven't had any new gigs since, like, I think last December was the last time I did a gig, which I probably posted on the website. Um, I know last year I also had updated it with, um, my repertoire, songs that I'm, cover songs that I'm doing. Um, I originally did a photo shoot for it and had some photos up there, which I still, there's still the original photos up there. Um... Now I have done a second photo shoot this year in preparation for my new album. So I do want to update the, the, the new album. Uh, the new I want to update the website with um, uh, new photos, uh, new repertoire that I've built since then, and um, new bio, just freshen it up. Uh, so, so that's coming here as well, uh, as well as the Vista print, um, which I'm going to use for the new business cards. I'm going to use Canva, which is a, a free app you can find out there for um, um, creating a logo and an album cover. The logo will, of course, go on the business card as well as, um, um, you know, I can use it for promotional purposes elsewhere, send it to venues to put on their websites, etc. Um, the uh, um, album cover goes without saying I had these photos done uh, this photo shoot I just did um, several months ago I'm gonna use Canva to put some lettering over there uh, just the title of the album really my name 
Um, the working title right now is Blind Dragon Sings. Uh, again, a reference to me and my dragons. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a diehard dragon fan. You can tell by all the tattoos I have all over my body. Um, those are, those are the things that I've been working on, and they are coming along. I've got plans for, and I've already started, again, with CD Baby, um, well into the registration process, but I haven't uploaded, uploaded any music yet. Um, I actually started copywriting through copyright.gov, whatever the public government website is. I ran into some hiccups there, uh, which I'll get on to talking about here soon. So uh, I do want to go on to uh, talking about my goals moving forward. Obviously releasing the album is number one. Photos were a goal this year and I've already accomplished that. Getting gigs is going to be one. I haven't done a gig since last year. Um, and so I, I have to start emailing cold emails to, to venues and talking to people that I know what places I do open mics and um, hopefully landing a few gigs yet this year. Um, I'm sure there'll be some openings to, to fill in here and there at places. Um, you know, I'm available and I'm good. <laughs> uh, the other thing is writing more new songs. I think I've written maybe 10 or 12 songs this year, way behind my schedule. I would love to write about a song a week. That would be my preferred goal. Uh, I don't think I've ever been up at that pace, but that's the pace I'd like to get to. Um, and so I feel like, I mean, we're into August now, so I'm definitely behind my goal. Um, and uh, I guess part of that is really not a lack of working on my music. It's been, uh, it's been really good this year as far as spending time on the guitar, um, learning new repertoire, building that, as well as uh, uh, polishing up my, uh, my act. So um, that's been a, a real positive thing. Uh, you know, you give and take. So the, um, the, there was the give. The take that I got is um, not writing as many songs. I have written, I've written one so far that uh, I've been p performing out in public at open mics, etc. Uh, the one I'm going to do for you today has potential to go there. I, I'm really intending to uh, not only release it to the world through this YouTube video, but also to uh, do it at some of the open mics and um, see how I feel trying to connect to people with it. Um, I want to take a moment now just to go back and look at what's been going on this year that's held me back. Um, so I, I would refer to that as kind of being stuck. Uh, last year I did hit a point where I became uh, depressed and wasn't very productive at all, not at all, and was withdrawing from things. I w I still forced myself to go out to open mics but did not perform in them. I was having a little bit of panic really uh, when it came to being around people. I was doing okay with my work though. Uh, the work was like getting into a bubble and a, I don't know if you want to say a happy space about being at work, but it was definitely a place where um, I could block everything else out including my own emotions and um, focus on doing a good job and doing a good job made me feel good. So uh, there was some great benefit to that and it never hurt my job that I had this depression going on at home but I did see um, especially the social workers said some stuff to me about uh, noticing I wasn't myself uh, towards the end uh, but I did you know wind up going to see a doctor and admitting I have a, a problem and starting on an antidepressant and uh, earlier this year I did get into some talk therapy that's going very well really um, I would say uh, you know the biggest problem that's holding me back is lack of motivation, which stems from, you know, the train of depression, and um, it, it uh, builds a, its own little monster. Um, not wanting to do anything, you know, spend the night just sleeping or, you know, being unproductive uh, or getting distracted by little squirrels, you know what I mean? Um, Talking about it has is, is definitely helped, and uh, again, I'm uh, feeling better in general because I'm uh, talking about it more. I will start also started going to the gym on a pretty regular basis, which I think is starting to make me feel a little better. Definitely can move a little better. I can, you know, take my shoes on and off. <laughs> um, the song I wrote is called After the Storm. It was originally titled After You're Gone. Uh, I didn't want to write a song called After You're Gone. It just sounds, 
uh, like it's been done before. I think I've done it before, uh, if not a song with that title. Definitely that uh, theme using the, those words, literally using those words. Uh, I'm sure I have. It's not anything that I've kept or is in my current repertoire, but it's I, like I know I've been there, um, and I didn't want to quite revisit it that way. And uh, after the storm fits because it has uh, that same phrasing, and it also develops a new concept. So now um, instead of you're gone and there's this void, now it's uh, the storm. The uh, bad things have already happened and now the world is fresh and renewed uh, and there's a chance to rebuild so I think we went from uh, looking at bad things to looking at, um, at hope and looking um, to put the potential good things uh, by changing the name uh, some simple like that can um, you know truly inspire I, uh, I I guess I'm going to tell this story for the third time now. I uh, told it to my therapist, and then I told it to um, a buddy of mine. We um, talk about songwriting back and forth on um, Facebook Messenger. So uh, this will be the third time I'm sharing it, so I should be good at this story by now. Um, I uh, normally write songs by picking up the guitar and writing, uh, but strumming or picking and um, um, singing words, phrases, gibberish, la la la, whatever it takes to just get that connection between the voice and the, the guitar and um, uh, until I hit on some nugget of, uh, uh, you know, inspiration. And uh, it wasn't working at all, so I decided to do something different this time. I've tried it before, but never with success that I can remember. Uh, this time I um, wrote the lyrics. And I might have done some songs on this songwriter's journal where I did that. I I don't think that there's any that have ever made it to any kind of current repertoire. I really don't. Um, this would be the first one that I'm going to attempt to get there. Um, this, uh, but, but what I'm saying, though, is that I had uh, written this by putting down the guitar and just writing words. Freeform writing, and then going back with the guitar and trying to sing that which did not work at all whatsoever um, but hold on it gets better <laughs> it really does that day came and went failure or so it felt came back to it the next day the next day and the story of this song goes over a period of like nine days I believe maybe ten um, and uh, somewhere in there I revisited it and I found something that felt a little more like I could do this melody uh, but there's no structure to it, and it's it's not working. Uh, so I hadn't even recorded at that point. Another day or two went by, and I got something finally that I thought I could record, which I did. Um, at that point, this is probably at least the second or third iteration of uh, Melody. Um, in the middle of the night, after I'd been asleep for a few hours, uh, something started coming to me in dream form and that murky waking thing where I'm not really asleep, not really awake. And um, uh, I had to get up, whatever it was, 2, 3 a.m. Uh, I'm not at my best then, but I forced myself to do it and started playing the guitar. I couldn't stay up for very long. I was so darn tired. Uh, I sort of wish I could have because maybe I could have wrote this great song that night. But I... Um, I got just enough down to find the structure and tweak the melody a little bit. So I made some notes about what that structure would be and the next time I got a chance to work on it, um, using that structure I was it now starting to change words and syllables to fit a, a phrasing pattern, uh, picking chords. Uh, there's only three chords in this song, yeah, only three. Um, it's one six five one is the pattern, and um, the chorus part to the song uses the same chords, but it's a, just a different pattern with the with the um, uh, chords. But it's the same thing. There's no variations on the chords at this point. Uh, but I did have a couple little flourishes to it that uh, I'm really happy about. And um, there's, uh, there's one that I'll be sharing tonight. You'll hear it. Uh, 
but uh, well, maybe two. But uh, the, there's another one yet that I've played around with that may or may not uh, still develop. So I'm, I'm happy with some of the what I'm saying musically as well as lyrically. Uh, I, um, what I'm really writing about here is um, the breakup of my marriage, the divorce, but as opposed to songs I've written before, uh, uh, those songs were written, and they're recorded for the album, some of them, were written during the marriage, during the time that it was not well. And they had to be very vague, because I didn't want to insult anyone or start any fights, but um, I think people will, will hear it in the songs. Um, this song, though, is much more specific. It's definitely much more me and my truth. Uh, it's it, it, in no way insulting, no way... Um, by the way, we're getting photobombed here by a dog who feels the need to be pet constantly. This is Marshall. Say hi, Marshall. Say hi. Hello. Yeah, you probably can't see him. Let me turn the camera a little bit. That's Marshall Dog. He's a golden retriever. He is also a love predator. Um, don't let him fool you. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to get what he wants. Um, what was I saying? Um, so this song is written from the present perspective, looking back on the past. And um, it's also written from a perspective uh, of hope, as opposed to the songs I'd written before, which were feeling hopeless, uh, truly. Um, I think that's a good way to describe it. Uh, these songs definitely feel like there's hope. Not answers necessarily, just, uh, the, you know, potential. Um, so, uh, before I sing this song, I do want to take a moment and do a toast for y'all. Um, so here's to looking back. Here's to looking forward. And may you never get stuck in between. All right. Give me a second here to set this up, and I'm going to do my song. It's finger picking. By the way, I uh, only have two fingernails here, not counting the thumb. Uh, the thumb's always been um, natural, uh, but the first three fingers have always had um, acrylic painted over top of them to reinforce them. They've been my own natural nail, no tips or anything like that but just a, uh, acrylic, just a hardener to make, a, you know, so you can drive it right into someone's gut and pull out their innards. No, just kidding. Picking steel strings uh, and not wanting to break your nails like trying to reach for a doorknob and open the door. Um, but one of them actually got ingrown here, the, uh, the ring finger, uh, so I cut it down with um, a pair of clippers and um, I'm growing that back out again, but it's, it seems to be working, doing the trick, having cut that down. Uh, the other two are still long and uh, reinforced with the acrylic. It's a little flourish I mentioned. So I'm reading this off of uh, a stand because uh, I don't have it memorized yet because, you know, I just wrote it here over the last week and that's, you know, just coming together. How can you memorize a song if it ain't together? be memorizing going forward and um, playing it out. I still got the old title on the top of this uh, rough draft here. <laughs> and if anyone's interested, I am capoed on one using G-shaped chords. Infinity seemed impossible give much thought to who I am that is it seems so obvious to me I thought I was just the right man used to think I could handle that weight now I ain't sure about nothing that is of 
appreciation It's like this I was losing my soul Now I'm trying to figure out How the thing that was in kept me from seeing the truth Used to believe you were so good to me That is, until I let you Too short to hang on to those who don't give a damn for what you do. You can rebuild your joy after the storm. One day I asked out loud how the hell can for the life of me, I don't know Whether or not you were ever here Couldn't see the pain you caused We always said it was one of the kids So our problems got hit away That is, till you had to go Our truth hit me like spit in the eyes of my own special kind of mess. Just something that I'm living with. Come to think of it, I ain't it special at all. I'm not alone anymore. I finally opened up. Never wanted to talk before. You're gone now. It's the chorus, but it's the second version of it. Looking back on my life, seeing the black clouds roll through the hill fire in the sky, so clear and calm after the storm. But you have to go You can rebuild your joy After the storm It's so clear and calm After the storm All right, well, I'm happy I did that. I'm happy it turned out and that I got through it. Uh, I don't have to do a bunch of editing to try to clean this up or re redoing it and held to my original goal of, uh, you know, uh, keeping this thing uh, raw and, and um, you know, the unedited to me makes a difference, not only because I'm lazy, but and also because of the learning curve that I say holds me back and prevents me from moving forward and doing things. Um, anyway, um, I do want to say thank you, God, for uh, uh, inspiring me to get back to doing things again that I want to do and moving forward with my goals, especially making this video here tonight. It's really good to be doing that. I'm recommitting to my goal of making these on a regular basis. And... Um, uh, I think my original goal with that was doing a new one every two to three weeks. So I'm going to try to hold myself to that again, and we'll see if I make it this time around. It's not a matter of how many times you fail. It's a matter of, you know, how many times you get back up. So uh, please, if you like my kind of music, um, things that I'm into, uh, I like the, uh, the folklore and the mythology, um, you're into LARPing, you're into Dungeons and Dragons, you're my kind of people come this way uh please uh, like and subscribe and try to get more people into this sort of thing and um uh you know what i want to share that spirit uh also if you're into songwriting uh, you know i'm 
pretty, pretty honest here with uh, how I write the songs. Simple though they might seem, um, they're still something that's um, uh, I feel has a beauty to it and is worth sharing. And if that's what you're looking for, a way to express yourself, this is the place to be. So yeah, like I said, hit like and subscribe, please. I appreciate that so much. I appreciate those of you that have watched my videos before and are watching again. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate y'all. Uh, until next time, love and peace, y'all.